Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Now if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a waffle in my Instagram stories. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go and follow me right now. I am at Headbangers Kitchen. Anyway, you would have seen that waffle and you would have seen my live stream where I told you I am going to show you how to make a keto waffle. Oh yeah, we are going to make a delicious keto waffle today using peanut butter and we are going to top it with some chocolate ganache and some whipped cream. It's going to be delicious. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Let's go and make that peanut butter keto waffle. We are going to start with 4 tablespoons or 80 grams of peanut butter. You can use homemade or store bought, the choice is yours. And 1 tablespoon of butter, 2 tables of mascarpone cheese or cream cheese. I have made it with both of them and both work absolutely fine. Now we are going to microwave this for about 30 seconds and you can see the butter has melted everything is sizzling we are just going to whisk everything together till we get a nice smooth batter. Once that's done it's time to add in 2 tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, half a teaspoon of baking powder, stevia to taste or whatever sugar free you like. Give that all a good mix and finally we are going to crack and add 2 full eggs into this and just beat the beep out of it. I'm just kidding, be nice, but beat them, seriously. You wanna get a nice batter. You'll see it, it's a nice batter, not too runny, not too thick, just right. Then it's really simple. Once your waffle iron is nice and hot, you're just gonna pour in that batter and then cook it. Now a little trick is if you want a crispier waffle, then you should put in a little less batter so that it is a thinner waffle and it crisps up faster. You can also leave it in for a slightly longer duration but that can always you know, have the risk of being burnt if you leave it in too long. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, looks like those waffles are ready. Now guys, since I don't have any sugar-free maple syrup, which is what I would eat the waffles with, just butter and sugar-free maple syrup. Since I don't have that in India, since I don't get it in India, I'm going to be making a quick chocolate ganache. So I'm just going to microwave some dark chocolate with a little bit of butter. And you can see, just mix it all after it's microwaved and it'll be a nice melted mixture. Then I'm just going to add in a tablespoon of warmed up whipping cream and give that all a good mix. Make sure you zap the whipping cream in the microwave for like 20 seconds so that it's warm. And look at that, we've got a delicious chocolate ganache. Okay, so the waffles are ready, the ganache is ready, it's time to set it all up. So we're gonna splatter those waffles with that chocolate ganache. And finally top it with some whipped cream. Of course, this is sugar-free whipped cream. And that's done. Oh my god, look at that, it looks delicious. Anyway, time to taste these waffles. Alright guys, so it's time to taste the waffles. Let's dig in and I've got Dipti back on the show. Give us a thumbs up if you like seeing Dipti on the show. Alright, dig in Dipti. Okay, these look so great. And I love how crisp they are. Yeah, so I kept hers for a little longer because she likes her waffles crisp. Really and I, crisp. And I like them like soft. They should be soft. I don't know why this, they should be crisp. Anyway, dig in. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god, so good. So good. I've been craving waffles for a really long time now. And about 10 years ago, Sahil promised that he'd make me waffles. And um, this is what I get, so. But they're really good. And they're not eggy at all. No, and in, in my defense, my waffle machine broke 10 years ago. And I haven't, bought, I haven't bought one till recently on Dipti's insistence. So now we have a waffle maker and we have keto waffles. Yeah, I'm not complaining. And trust me guys, these are really, really good. So I hope you guys are going to try and make them at home. And I think if you don't have a waffle machine, you can make it like a pancake because the batter seems to be mm -hmm. almost the same. It's very similar at least. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I guess I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. So till then, cheers and keep cooking. So good. Can this be enough for you? Mm. Oh, chocolate. Chocolate is good. And the butter. Yeah, and we had some sugar free maple syrup. Yeah, we don't have sugar free maple syrup, that's why we use chocolate. But it's all good. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that episode. We've got these kick ass Headbangers Kitchen t shirts available on redwolf.in. 
If you like the show, click here to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can click here to support us on Patreon if you like what we do a little bit more than normal. You can check out my music on this link here and you can watch another episode by clicking here.